Hey everyone, Scott here from Simple Mechanic Advice. Today we're going to talk about what causes your car's stereo not to turn on and how to fix it. Here's what causes it. Faulty wiring or connections. The wires in your car's stereo system connect to different components like the speakers, alternators, amplifiers, and batteries. If any of the wires were incorrectly installed or have worn out or come loose over time, your car's stereo may not turn on. Blown fuse. Many car stereos have at least one fuse to protect it from unexpected power surges. If the fuse is blown, you'll notice that everything else in your car is working just fine, but the car stereo won't turn on. The display screen may stop working, and you won't hear any static. The stereo unit is in anti-theft mode. Some car stereos have a security feature that prevents them from working in case of an interruption in the power flow as a result of a dead or disconnected battery. The stereo's display may activate but only show a code message without working. In other cases, the stereo can fail to turn on, and you'll have to consult the manufacturer to fix it. Here are the solutions to this problem. Inspect the wiring. Ask a car specialist to inspect the wiring in your car's stereo system for any loose or worn out wires. If there are any, they should be repaired or replaced accordingly. Replace any blown fuses. Consult the instruction manual for your car's stereo system to locate the fuse and check if it is blown. You can visually inspect it or use a multimeter or test light to check if there's power on both sides of the fuse. If it's blown, replace it with another one, ensuring it has the correct amperage rating. Resolve the anti-theft mode. If your stereo is in anti-theft mode, consult the owner's manual or contact the manufacturer to get specific instructions on how you can resolve the issue. Thanks for watching.